Good morning, Cedar Crest. I'm Sam Gerhardt. And I'm Annie Gerhardt. Today is Tuesday, February 13th. Coming up, we have a King of Hearts recap. Also, we have Eric with your sports report. We'll be right back with this and all of your school news. Underclassmen, course registration materials are now considered past due. Please know that beginning today, counselors will start the process of creating schedules for those students who chose not to complete course registration, and you will not be allowed to change the courses that are chosen for you. Please submit materials as soon as possible. If you need help, you, make, you may make an individual appointment with your counselor sometime this week. All sophomore R&K subsale forms are due to either Mr. Dissinger or in room 116 or Mrs. Lucre in room 110 by this Thursday, February 15th. Seniors don't leave free money for college on the table. There are thousands of dollars for Cedar Crest High School students and Lebanon County students. Most applications are in the counseling office. All others are found online. The Michael Hartman Scholarship is open to CCHS seniors pursuing any field, including fine arts, graphic arts, photography, art education, architecture, and film. Application information is available in the counseling office and all of the art rooms. Please see Mrs. Gebhardt in room 307 with questions. If you went to Ebenezer, you are eligible for a scholarship. It is due by March 2nd, so stop by the counseling office. The best and brightest scholarships are due by March 9th. Stop in the counseling office to apply for this original honor. All students are eligible. Seniors, some colleges may require a mid-year report. Stop in the counseling office and complete a mid-year transcript to request one. Only do this if your college requires this report. The Penn State Cancer Institute is holding an educational program on prevention, early diagnosis, and treatment of common cancers on Saturday, March 10th. The program is free to participants, but enrollment is limited and pre-registration is required. Stop by the counseling office for more information. C-Club members wishing to attend the rock climbing field trip after school on February 21st must turn in their permission slips. Student and faculty not in C-Club that would like to go on the field trip should see Mrs. Kosey in room 308. Space is limited, the cost is $20. Need something to sweeten your day? See a German club member to purchase softies, roulettes, and Toblerone chocolate bars. Malta United Nations members, submit your permission form and money to Dr. Zaria as soon as possible for the New York City field trip on March 9th. Match Club's chess tournament is coming up on February 20th through the 22nd after school from 2.30 to 4 at, in the LGI. Sign up as soon as possible in Mrs. Kaur's room 204. The cost is five dollars. In school news, the Cedar Crest High School Quiz Bowl team will be appearing on one of this week's episodes of the WGAL8 show, Brain Busters. This episode containing Cedar Crest is scheduled to air on at 1 p.m. on Saturday, February 17th. Tune in to watch C CCHS take on West Perry in the second round action from this year's tournament. The Jobs Available Board has new postings for various jobs, including summer employment opportunities. Among them are positions at Cedar Haven and the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Don't delay. Check them out today at the Jobs Available Board that is located in the high Skylight area in the 100 hallway outside of the main office. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Follett in the College and Career Center in the high school library. Auditions for next year's concert choir will take place before school tomorrow the 14th, Monday the 19th, and Wednesday the 21st. If you are interested in signing up for auditions, please come to the chorus room and see Mrs. May. If you are interested in learning more about the reality of working in the field of forensic science, there is an upcoming event designed for you. It is a forensic science symposium on Saturday, March 24th at Cedar Crest College located in Allentown. The all-day event is free for you and a guest to attend, with lunch included, but you must register online by March 19th. There is a flyer and information posted on the Opportunities Board in the Skylight area. See Mrs. Follett in the College and Career Center in the library if you have further questions. And now we send it, now we send it over to <coughs> Eric with your sports report. Thanks, guys. In sports news, one of our very own alumni is making waves in the NFL. Frank Wright graduated from Cedar Crest in 1980 and continued his football career at the University of Maryland. He was then drafted by the Buffalo Bills, 
He continued to play 14 seasons in the NFL before retiring. Once he retired, he was hired as the offensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles, who he has been with for the past two seasons. But on Sunday, he signed a five-year contract with the Indianapolis Colts as head coach. We wish him the best of luck. He might just make the Colts great again. Anyone interested in playing softball this spring, there will be an important meeting on Wednesday, February 14th at 7.30 a.m. in the new gym. Any students who missed the track and field call-out meeting and are interested in joining the track and field teams must pick up mandatory paperwork ASAP from Coach Risser in room 112, Coach Schulteis in room 201, or Coach Wagner in room 206. Concussion testing for baseball is today, girls lacrosse is tomorrow, boys tennis and volleyball February 14th, High school track February 19th. All testing times are at 2.45 and room 701. Spring sports and physicals and section seven forms for all spring sports can be turned into the athletic trainer. All physicals and forms are due by February 23rd. Varsity swimmers, your old warm-ups are due this week. You can give them to Coach Fulkerson before period one each day or you can stop by the pool after 2.30 to drop them off. They must be cleaned and put in a bag with your name attached to the bag. That's all for your weekly wise. Now back to Sam and Andy. Mike for signing with the Colts. Last Friday, the King of Hearts members competed in some games during the school pep rally. Beaver correspondents Madeline Doxtater, Ben Gassard, and Lex Lesher covered the fun. Congratulations to the court who set a new school record and by raising an incredible amount for the American Heart Association. Almost $50,000, a remarkable group of boys, and thanks to all in the school who contributed as well. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Sam Gerhardt. <laughs> and I'm Andy Gerhardt. Make it a great day, Supercrest. <laughs> I met you, I drink too much and I can't.